from gaseous uh, from gaseous atoms ionization energy was removing one mole of electrons the first ionization energy was removing one mole of electrons from gaseous atoms so if i had to write an equation representing the ionization energy of sodium so it would be na gas minus one mole of electrons because we are removing electrons in electron affinity we were adding and in this one we are removing to give one mole of Na plus ions gaseous so this is the first ionization energy of sodium and if instead we have Na plus gas gives Na2 plus gas so this is the second ionization energy of sodium and it keeps going on like this so um, the, so electron affinity and ionization energy have exact opposite definitions their values are not exact opposite but their definitions are exact opposite that's what you need to know so we have done uh, the definitions and uh, so before we proceed I want you to note that the standard enthalpy change of formation can also be either exothermic or endothermic so this is also important because it can be either exothermic or endothermic which means uh, in, in total energy can either be released or energy can be taken in when the reaction takes place so you need to remember that now calculating lattice energy using born haber cycles so let's just take the example of sodium chloride again so for example we have in a solid plus half Cl2 gas giving me NaCl solid so this is the formation of NaCl so this we can label as delta H not the not re delta represents change H represents enthalpy not represents a standard and F represents formation so this is the standard enthalpy change of formation of sodium chloride then for example we have Na plus gas plus Cl negative gas so we can go like this from so we can form NaCl from these and this will become the lattice energy because this is the definition of lattice energy which is the formation of one mole of an ionic compound the enthalpy change uh, occurring around the formation of one mole of an ionic compound from its gaseous ions under standard conditions so the gaseous ions are here the one mole of the ionic solid is here so this change is lattice energy and then we can have we can label this change delta H so we have a Hess cycle over here so this is a Hess cycle and uh, we studied this in uh, AS levels and we studied that the total energy change accompanying the reaction is the total energy change accompanying the reaction is the same despite of the route taken by the reaction so if the so the route taken by the reaction can the reaction can take two different routes in this case starting from the elements we can either go directly to NaCl solid which will be the enthalpy change of formation of NaCl or we can first go to the gaseous ions and then we can go to NaCl solid so the, the direct route the direct route is from the elements directly to the ionic compound this is the direct route and this is the indirect route that first we go here and then we come back here so this is the indirect route but uh, the but Hess law Hess who was the scientist behind this law Hess law tells us that the enthalpy change the total enthalpy change will be the same regardless of the route taken by the reaction and we did this law in AS levels so we can say that delta HF naught so I have written a large F so let's not do that so delta H naught F not HF naught it will be delta H naught F delta H naught F will be equal to delta H 
plus LP because